Hello, my name is Paul Mezabov, and I'm going to demonstrate the use of the Model 7852 and its ReadyFlow software package. As you can see here, I have a 7852 installed in a PCI Express slot in this rack mount server PC. It's an ordinary PC motherboard with, um, looks like, six PCI Express slots. In what I have going into, the signal going into the uh, 7852 go is going into the first ADC channel and it's being generated by a complex signal generator that I have over here. And this signal generator has been programmed to generate a complex wideband waveform. This waveform includes four bands of 5 megahertz wide uh, spaced at 10 megahertz intervals of, uh, of a complex waveform centered at 70 megahertz. So if I set the frequency to 70 megahertz, that's the center. The span of frequencies is 50 megahertz. And uh, you can see that we have these four bands starting at 55 megahertz, ending at about 85 megahertz. So it's 70 plus or minus 20. And they differ in amplitude by 10 dB. And I did this so that when we down convert them with four separate DDC channels, we will be able to identify um, the, that the DDCs are tuned to different portions of this uh, roughly 50 megahertz span of signal frequency. Now I'm going to go and show you the, s the software. ReadyFlow software comes with several examples. The example that I chose is DDC4 ACQ, and this allows you to program um, multiple channels per bank and multiple banks. Uh, I've set this up so that we have, at least for this demonstration, one active bank and four channels per bank. And I've modified the decimation to be 16. What that means is that each DDC is sampling at 200 megahertz divided by 16, because 200 megahertz is the ADC clock. That means that the DDC bandwidth per channel is 12.5 million complex samples per second. And that is sufficient, of course, to represent uh, a 10 megahertz band per DDC channel. Since I have four DDC channels, each one giving me 12.5 million complex samples, and a complex sample is comprised of 16-bit I and 16-bit Q, that means that each DDC is providing us with 50 megabytes per second of data. Therefore, in this example, we will be data transfer, that we will data transfer 200 megabyte per second of data across the PC backplane into the PC's memory. I have tuned the beginning channel frequency to 55 megahertz. And I have added a line that increments through the four channels that we have programmed by 10 megahertz per channel. That means that I have four DDCs. The first one is tuned to 55 megahertz. The second one is tuned to 65 megahertz. The third one is tuned to 75 megahertz. And the fourth one is tuned to 85 megahertz. And you could see on our spectrum analyzer here that that's appropriate for the center of each one of, of the, these portions of the signal spectrum. For example, if I say frequency 55 megahertz, frequency 55 megahertz, okay, let's try that again. Frequency 55 megahertz, kept pressing the gigahertz button, that corresponds to the first frequency. If I go to 65 megahertz, it's the second frequency. If I go to 75 megahertz, it's the third frequency. And finally, 85 megahertz is the fourth frequency. Now, we'll center it at 70 megahertz just for fun. Not that this matters. This is just a dis display. 
we will execute, we will first we can rebuild the application and then we will execute from within Vis Microsoft Visual Studio and what we see is that the uh, board is discovered by the uh, application it's initialized the threads associated with the DMA transfer are started and the, d and the data is saved to a file the file by the way um, is named, and this is all part of the standard ReadyFlow package, DDC4, ACQ, and uh, depending on what bank it is, it'd be one, two, three, or four. We have one active bank right now, so it'll be DDC4, ACQ1. Now I have written a MATLAB script. It's a very simple MATLAB script. It opens the file. It reads all of the data as 16-bit integers into an array called all channels and then it because the data is interleaved in the file in both channel and IQ sequence I have to demultiplex the data so I read in 16-bit increments first an I then a Q then an I then a Q and I produce a complex vector as you can see uh, the way that this is working and then I decide that I will demultiplex the channels from that complex vector so I read again a single channel that I will call A starting from one into um, this array and I include of course uh, all the samples from each one and I plot all four I take an FFT and plot all four of these channels let's see what happens when I run this script now what you see is what looks like the same signal but in fact if you look closely you will see that this one is at minus 10 dB this one is at minus 20 this one is at minus 30 and this one is at minus 40 and it's almost almost in the noise there isn't very much signal amplitude in the actual signal and you could see that the entire range of the signal is shows you about four boxes here we know that the top of this is about five megahertz four boxes out of ten which would, would, would therefore correspond to uh, five divided by 0.4 giving you 12.5 megahertz uh, complex sample from here to here and that's of course the bandwidth of the digital filter in the DDC so this shows the operation of the 7852 down converting four bands four wide bands uh, of a single signal uh, and displaying them uh, and being able to move the data in this example at 200 megabytes per second with no loss of data